Bit to the end of the week. That's a little bit of the good news, but if you're not a fan of the heat, it's going to continue as we end out this work week. Starting off with a little bit of morning fog in the Brazos Valley. The rest of us are going to see plenty of sunshine all day long. We do have the chance that we could see a storm as well as some rain. I'll break that down later in the show, and it's going to be plenty of sunshine all throughout the weekend into next week, and that heat wave just continues, and we have the chance that we could see our first triple digit day here in Central Texas and the Brazos Valley by the time we get to the end of the work week and if that does occur it'll put us at the number five spot on the earliest first 100 days so it's fitting being how hot it's been the past couple of days but not the good news maybe you want to hear on this Friday but look at this we're in the mid 60s as we take that live look over Temple seeing a little bit of cloud coverage and as I said that's all going to clear out by the time we get to the afternoon we'll see plenty of sunshine dew points are also in the 60s so a little bit of sticky weather but not quite as humid at least relatively to what we've been seeing earlier this week. So we're all dry across the great state of Texas, seeing some of that southerly breeze coming in from the southwest. And as I said, seeing a little bit of cloud coverage here right now, that's all going to clear up, put us out a nice clear picture by the time we get into the afternoon. So this is last week's drought monitor. And as I mentioned, because of the dry weather we've been seeing this week, it's not going to impact it then, but we did get some pretty heavy rain last week, and that's what's also caught. That's what really caused that impact, mainly in our eastern counties. Some of our western zones, some of the conditions got even worse. So it's a little bit of good news that you guys are the ones that are going to be getting this rain. So this is your look Friday at six o'clock. And then by the time we get into 8 o'clock, it's a very, very quick system that we'll be seeing today. Again, it's going to be isolated really to our western counties, and it's going to be a trick to see how far east this is going to go before these showers and storm dissipate. But most of our western zones are the ones who are going to get that rain. Now, it's important to know that if any storms do develop with the system, they do have the potential to be severe. Damaging wind gusts are going to be the main threat. Heavy rain is not. Again, as I said, you guys could use a lot of rain. Unfortunately, you're not going to get it. You'll pick up about a tenth of an inch, so may not impact that drought situation by much. But as we go into the next week, it's going to continue to be drier. Won't see any rain chances as we go into this weekend and into the next work week. So it's why I'm giving the car wash forecast all green lights for you. If you're in some of those northwestern zones, may want to hold off until your Saturday. All rain or all sunshine and no rain. I so same. So a hot weekend ahead, plenty of sunshine in the mid 90s on your Saturday. Some areas going to get into those upper 90s and those western zones. And then we have the chance to break that 1925 record on Sunday, 97 degrees. And those record highs are going to continue to be the big story as we head into this next work week. No relief from the heat coming anytime soon.